What's up gamers, my name is Rolezy and I'm back today with another solo money glitch. Guys, all the previous solo money glitches have been patched, that's including the director mode glitch and the dupe glitches, so this is, is the only workaround that we do have at the moment. Uh, just to start out with, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And here are the requirements. You're going to want to be in an invite-only session. You need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage in Bay 3, a retro custom or any Benny's vehicle with custom plates. We absolutely need custom plates now. They patched the glitch where we can clean our dirty dupes. And you need a 10-car garage filled with elegies or at least one, el uh, one free elegy to make one dupe. Okay, as you can see right here, I'm in my CEO garage. Every attempt I had in my CEO garage, I failed, so I wouldn't recommend doing it in a CEO garage. And you also have to have $195,000 to renovate your MOC each time, and you need a cargo bob. The cargo bob is a must now, the car always end, ends up bricked. Okay, so shout out to the founders, Freight Train What The Fudge, and Lost Glitches, go check them out. Now, I just pulled out my RH8 from the CEO garage. I know the exact spot. It was a full garage, that's, really, that's really important, but, I'm gonna show you right here. So, I go to Legendary Motorsport and I'm gonna order up another free Elegy right over the one that I just pulled out of that garage. So, Office Garage 1, and I'm gonna go right to the RH8 that I just pulled out, which is the one on the street, replace right over it. Okay, so that one disappears. I run inside my MOC, and once you're in the MOC, this is gonna be failed attempt number one. I'm gonna show you guys the scenarios of what can happen to you if you do fail. Now, I'm gonna hop in my Retro Elegy Custom, and I'm gonna open up my phone and I'm gonna go straight to the internet. Now, once you hit on the internet, right now I'm pressing right trigger, I'm holding the gas, okay? I'm gonna go to renovate my MOC and personal vehicle storage, change it to empty bay, click renovate once, and now I'm gonna click this one. Now, you wanna hit A to buy and right away spam the Y, the Y button or triangle on PlayStation. So A and then Y, you wanna spam the hell out of it. Now, this is what happens when you're too quick. I was too quick there, and if you saw in the image, I slowed it down. You actually only saw a, an image of the car, and then that was it. You didn't see anything else. That means that you were too quick. You drove out with the original car. So that's a failed attempt. You don't lose the personal vehicle storage on that one. You just drove out, so you're okay. But this is another failed attempt. Now, if you do fail, and the car hasn't been delivered yet, you can actually just order up another one right over that one that hasn't been delivered, and you can try this again. So you see, that's what I did here. Now I have another two minutes to try this once again. So I'm going to drive right back inside of the personal vehicle storage that I still have there and I'm going to put this retro in there. I've already ordered the Elegy on top of the one that I pulled out previously. So this is failed attempt number two. This is the second scenario that you can hit when you fail the glitch. Now on this one you do get penalized for failing. So I'm going to open up my internet. Right now I'm holding the gas which is right trigger and I'm going to go renovate the MOC, go to bay three, change it to empty bay and then go to renovate and then buy. I'm gonna, while, while holding right trigger, AY, very quickly. And you see that? My guy was getting out of the car and it disappeared. That means I was way too slow to press Y. You need to press Y instantly after pressing A. And I mean instantly, but you can be too quick also. That was like in the, in the first scenario. Now, here are two successful attempts. The successful attempts, I got only in the 10 car garage. Right when I went into the 10 car garage, I got two straight attempts and I succeeded on both of them, okay? So I'm gonna drive out the only RH8 that I have in here, it's in slot five, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna park this RH8 right over here by the MOC. Now I'm gonna let you know where my fingers are on the buttons, okay? After Once I get inside the MOC. So we're gonna do the same thing, order up a free RH8, we're gonna order it right over this one that we just pulled out, which is in slot five of Integrity Way. So I'm gonna go to Integrity Way apartment 28 and replace over slot five. Now quickly exit out of the internet and run inside the MOC. Now once I'm inside the MOC, I'm gonna hop in my retro custom and open up the internet from my phone. And right when you get logged into the internet, hold right trigger. You're holding right trigger this whole time. You are not letting go at all. So go to renovate the MOC, and then you're going to go to bay three. And once you're at bay three, I slowed this down, empty bay, and get this. So my left thumb, once I click renovate right here, my left thumb now is going over to, to the A button. And then my right thumb is over on the Y button. So I'm going to hit A with my left thumb and then Y with my right thumb very, very quickly, and I'm gonna spam Y. And you saw that? He actually opened up the door very, very slightly, like very slightly, that's the timing that you want. That's how you know you actually just hit the glitch. He has to be opening up the door 
just just a little bit not too much at all okay and you're gonna end up getting into this loading screen you spawn outside like this you know closer to the MOC open up your map and look at that the car is actually over there at the docks all right so the car will be bricked what I ended up doing right here is I saw that the uh, the dupe was right over there so I just grabbed my cargo Bob and I'm not sure if you do have to fly it away if the car spawns in the docks you, you your car can also spawn underneath the map uh, underneath the MOC that's a possibility so I just flew my cargo Bob a little bit of ways away and I'm gonna start up a mission Titan of a job just like we did in the Lester Heist invite method you have to go away a little bit and start up a job so that the car will spawn next to you but the car is gonna end up being bricked so I started up a Titan of a job I'm gonna get into the settings and I'm gonna back out of the settings now and you're gonna see when you back out the car will be close to you so there's the car right there and it's gonna be bricked I'm gonna hop in here just to show you guys so there you go, it actually starts up the engine and everything, but I can't move whatsoever. The car is bricked, I can't go back, can't go forward, nothing like that. This is why we need the Cargo Bob guys, and you know, GTA drivers, doing what they do best. Just screwing crap up. Alright, so I'm gonna hop in the Cargo Bob right over here, and you just have to latch onto it very quickly. You don't have to latch on for a while. You just latch onto the car, and then you let go, you know, you can let go immediately, whenever you want, but it just has to hook for, for a second, and once it's hooked, it completely unbricks the car. So, you don't have to be a very good pilot to do this, you know, like I said, just make sure you line that hook up right. So you can see right here, I picked it up, and I just dropped it, just like that. I didn't even fully pick it up, you know? I literally just picked up one side of the car, and that was it. So, now that I've done that, you can get in the car now and the car will be unbricked and you can go ahead and drive it. Now remember, to save this duplicate, you have to drive it back to the garage where you ordered the RH8 from. So I had a little bit of trouble here, I had to move my MOC so I can get through. And there we go, so I'm driving it back into the garage, you get the garage full alert, this is why we need the full garage. And you're going to replace right over the RH8 that we ordered in the beginning of the glitch, which is right here in slot 5, that black one right there. So boom, there you go, save dupe. Just like that. And now you would have to go and repurchase the personal vehicle storage. Remember, each time it's $195,000 to get a dupe. And if you fail and you're too slow, you still have to pay the $195,000. If you're too quick, you're good. You know, you can still just go and try again. Order up another RHA and you're fine. But, you know, so this is the second, you know, successful attempt that I did have. I bought another garage here and I filled it up and I only had one RHA in here. This one's in slot 10. So we're going to proceed to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drive this out, park it right next to the MOC and go ahead and hop out and order up another LG RH8 over this one in the same slot. That'd be slot 10. So here we go. Sort by price, RH8. Doesn't matter what color, order it. And Integrity Way Apartment 35 is the one we're in now. And then order it right over the RH8. Now you got to hurry up because you have to end up outside of the MOC before the car gets delivered. So once we're inside the MOC, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop inside of the retro once I get loaded in here. And I'm going to go over again my, my finger placement on the controller, okay? So once remember, once you get in the car, go ahead and open up your phone, open up the internet, and hold right trigger now. I'm holding right trigger with my right index finger, okay? Now at this point, you're going to go ahead and renovate the MOC. And once you click renovate, you're going to go to bay 3. You're going to click on empty bay after that. Once you hit empty bay, kept missing right there. Once you hit empty bay, go to renovate and click on renovate once. Now hover over by. Now my right thumb is over Y and my left thumb is over A. And you saw that right there. His He was just slightly opening the door. Once again, left thumb is over A, right thumb is over Y. So I press A really, you know, I press A and then instantly, you know, right after I'm spamming Y. And I spam Y the entire time while I'm in the black screen until I get out of here. Not sure if you have to spam it the whole time, but that's what I do. Open up your map, and you should see it at the docks or underneath the MOC. Either way, you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to go and start up a job. I ran over here. There's my Speedy Tron Man because uh, my cargo bob was over there. And I went to Rockstar Creative Missions and starting up Titan of a Job. So each, each attempt, guys, once you get the duplicate, this time it will always end up bricked. It's not like the previous one where you can just drive out and boom, you have a duplicate. It's not that easy. Remember, when they patch up glitches, we always have to do different things. Okay, there's always a different workaround. There's always a different method that we have to implement. So I already know the car is bricked, so I'm simply just going to hop into the cargo bob and I'm going to make my way over there and just latch on very quickly and let go. 
And once again, if you don't have a cargo bob, remember, you don't need to purchase one if you don't have the money. You can go ahead and go to LSI Airport, and over there, there should be one that spawns there, as well as the hospital. There, there are cargo bobs that spawn at the hospital sometimes, okay? So you're going to want to go ahead and latch on to the Retro Custom. We know it's bricked. You know, latch onto it real quick, let go. Now it is unbricked. And as you can see, the the actual elegy just got delivered to my garage. As long as you make it outside of the MOC before the, the elegy gets delivered, you're fine. You can get the dupe. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and drive. And this time I'm going to show you guys, I didn't actually prove it on the last one, but I'm going to prove on this one that when you go back to drive over here that the original still is in the MOC. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the internet and I'm gonna renovate real quick. This is what you would have to do if you wanna keep doing this over and over again. You'd have to renovate each time. We're still on empty base. So I have to purchase personal vehicle storage again, 195K. There we go. So now you just have to wait a few seconds for it to actually renovate and let you go through. I press right D-pad now and personal vehicle storage full. That means we're in a duplicate and the original car is still in the MOC. So now that we have that figured out, I'm gonna go into apartment 35, garage full alert, which is what we want. And then once we get in there, we're going to simply just replace over slot 10 in this case, which is where I pulled out the other RH8. And there we go. Dupe successful. Dupe has been saved. And that's it, guys. So we just have to be really quick and just go back and listen to the button place or the finger placement that I had on the buttons. And you guys will succeed. And make sure you're using a 10 car garage. The CEO garage did not work for me. If you guys have different luck, please let me know. All right. And that's going to be it. All right. My name is Roll Easy. Thank you for passing by the channel again today. I'm going to be doing more videos on the DLC content coming up later. Maybe not today, but tomorrow for sure. And make sure to like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already, and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope content for GTA 5 online. I'm Roll Easy, and I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.